So recently, the brand new Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing Edition came out, and I'm in love with it. I've seen a lot of people's reviews, and they say it's pretty expensive, but I'm not having the same problem for some reason. Weird. Hello everyone, this is Iron Bottle, and today we are playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm very excited. I recently got this game on um, March 20th, the day it came out, but this whole week I I played it the day, two days after I got it, and I lost that recording, or no, I, I have the footage still, but I lost the save data on my game, and my footage, I already lost some of it, and I just had audio problems with it, so I've decided to restart. Um, so far what I know is I know up to where this video ends, because I'm, I'm going to end this video where I ended my game, because I'm really just doing like a tutorial almost, how to pick up pairs and that stuff. Um, I also learned where my voice was bad in the other parts, sometimes I sounded really sassy when I meant to sound a little more just, I don't know, different. And I also found where I need to be a little quicker. So, let's just dive straight into it. I'm super excited for this game. So far, I think this is going to be the biggest game of Nintendo. Or, the biggest game for Nintendo of 2020. I think something will come out in the fall, but right now, with the time we're in, where so many people are in quarantine, and they need a game to play, to kind of, also a very cheerful game, just like a very fun game to play. This one delivers it. It's very bright, very positive. It, it doesn't have that much bad stuff. Looking deserted island getaway package. Let's go, Tommy. Emmy. <coughs> Good morning. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Oh, sorry. Welcome to a check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. There is so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nooking. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday. So, what I do for, um, what I do for, like, Pokemon and kind of games where I might, they might see my name a lot. I don't go by Cyan Puddle because that's my, that's my game tag. I go by just Cyan. I think that's more realistic to be a name, you know, so... Yep, that's my name. Yep, that's my name. Okay. Uh, I'm born in October 8th. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cyan. Cyan. Let's see. Oh, yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Cyan. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. Okay, I'm going to be a boy. So I could change this later if I wanted to be a girl. Um, I don't think I will. Now see, I'm really, I'm really white. So I think this will be good. No, that's too white. Or that's too late. Canish. I'm really white. And that's okay. Um, I, I think... Maybe I'll change the one as I get, like, later on in the game, because of the island, just where I am. <coughs> and I would have got tan if I would have been on this island. This is going to be the hairstyle I pick, because, um, well, this is a little more calm than mine. It's, this is too short, and this is too... Well, dreadlocks, or not really dreadlocks, I don't know how to describe it, I don't have that though, so. <coughs> ah. My eyes. I. No. Let me just go, I have like a 
light blue eyes, so I'll pick that. I'm gonna pick that. I like that. It's the, it's the most, um, I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> Round nose and cheeks. Oh, wait, what about my mouth? I'm a little more like a long you, not a tight you. I don't know if that means really, but confirm! Yes, everything looks okay. Let's go. Great, you're all set. All set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. Exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. In fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. I will be doing that. What I mean is, we have islands in both the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Sion, where do you live now? Live now. <laughs> See, that's, that's a little creepy right there. North America, that's where I live. Oh, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we recommend that you relocate to an island in the northern hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? So far? That sounds great. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the northern hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size and for all quite large. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home. Um. Oh, see, so what I picked the last time. Last time I. Good morning. Last time I picked this one. But I guess I didn't realize this one has a cool island, which I think it'd be cool, but I also could just make my own island with terraforming and stuff, but. Oh, wait, I think I'm gonna do this one actually. No, I'm gonna go off of this one. I think that's best. You can also change your island later on just with like terraforming. Wonderful choice. Choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Uh, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only bring one thing with you to a desert island, what would it be? What would it be? Um, I'd, I'd probably bring something to kill time, but realistically, for some food. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. Mook Inc. will fully cover all your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention please, this is a service announcement. The chartered flight from Nook's Inc. Desert Island Getaway Package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Together. Okay, let's go. Woohoo! Good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s Desert Island Getaway Package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. Let's go! So pretty. Oh, that is cool. Oh, can't wait for the other seasons.
Very nice, very nice. I am hyped for this trip. Flying into our island right now, I assume. Here we go. Right over the island, lovely. Oh, uh, oh, whoa, look at him. We're here. Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation ses session, session in a nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move L to follow us. Okay, so last time my two villagers, I started out with Muffy and a uh, snap. Muffy and Moose. So it was like Mouse and Ram or something. So now I start with these two. You guys. Oh, it's Tom Nook! Um, what are we trying to do now? Okay. <laughs> Alright, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Renee here? Oh, who's Renee? Oh, that's Renee. And how about Dom? Oh, nice. And there's Cyan, of course. Oh, great, we're all here. I'll turn over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new life. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal? Hmm. As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, Yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate, and... Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. Here you go, Cyan. Thanks, Timmy. Your very own tent. Hi. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Okay. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map too. Yes, please. Yeah. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. So, I'm going to be back in just a minute. I'm going to go look for a spot. And I I, I know one spot I had earlier that I'll probably pick. But I'm going to also look a little different. So, I'll be right back. So, I'm back. And I know this is not the spot I'm going to pick. I know that would be a little odd to be on the sand, actually. I wonder if you could. That'd be interesting. But I like it because I want to have a beach feeling. So I think I'm going to put my tent uh Maybe right here. So let's check out that. Okay, that's my inventory. My tent. And build here. Let's see how it looks. Oh, shoot. Maybe I might. I know I can destroy the trees, but I might move back a little bit. I need to rethink it. Okay, now let's put build here. Um, now I can put. Let me imagine it. Okay. Actually, that's okay. I don't. I don't care if we destroy that one tree. That's okay. Okay, that's great. I love it right there. I set up my tent. That's a big first step. Awesome. 
Now let me real quick check about the different camera angles, because I know there's some different camera angles. There you go. I'm gonna do this one for a while, but I don't know what the difference is. I'm gonna head back to no, I'm not gonna see it just a minute. Never mind, I'm right back here. <laughs> oh, Cyan, you must have found a suitable spot for your tent. Mm, you're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. Okay, so one is right- yeah, see, this is one right here. I think Dom or- Renee, you're here. You're, you're wait. I got it. Don't tell me you're Cyan, right? See, I told you I had it. I'm Renee. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. Yo, yo, yo. You already found a good spot, huh? Yep. I was trying to steal the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. Interesting method. So now, this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw this stick, but I'm liking this. I mean, I don't know, it's a little close to normal, but I'm just gonna say it looks good to me. I'm, I'm okay with it. For real? Yo, yo, yo! Well, if you're sure, actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here, I'm not gonna imagine it. Okay, sure. Yeah. Looks nice, don't it? Yep, it looks great. Awesome, from now on, this won't be just anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my home sweet home. <coughs> I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock! Yo, yo, yo! I wonder how that Dom guy is doing. He might be having as much trouble as I was. Maybe you should go see if he needs help too. Actually, yeah. Good idea. Dom is right here. Hey, bro. Yo, I'm Dom. You're Simon, right? Nice to meet you. Indy Dare? Indy Dero? Indy Dero? What? You already set up your tent? Hey, I'm still trying to find the best spot. Oh, hey. Skip part of that. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Cyan? Looks good to me. You think so? Awesome. Okay then, how about we do a little visualization exercise together. If I put my tent here... Oh, great! Pretty cool, right? Yeah, looks great. Alright, looks like we have a winner. I'm gonna put down some stakes right here and never look back. Indidoro. Indidoro. Weird greeting, but okay. That was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. Don't tell me you already helped Renee out, too. You're like... I did. Like, a true champion. I just got here, so I don't have anything ready, but I'm gonna reward you for this one. Well, it looks like it's time to sprint back to the plaza in Diderot. Oh, he's gonna give me something later? Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while. <laughs> hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with our roaring campfire. Huh. We'll just need a few supplies to get started. Yes, since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Well, let's see. Timmy, Renee, Tommy, and Dom can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Cyan and I will work on gathering wood and perhaps a little snack. Alright everyone, let's get to it. Cyan, would you come see me for a moment? Yep. <sighs> ah, Cyan, just wanted to go over what we'll need for the camp. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, just press one to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the cherry-like items growing in the tree. I suspect they're real cherries. Oh, the native fruit is cherries. Cool, it was pears last time for me, so I, th I think this is the native fruit. Uh, why? Okay, so yeah. That's how you pick up tree branches. You just press Y. So, 
I'll be back in just a minute, and yeah, see you guys in a minute. Okay, so now we got ten. Let's talk to the Tom. No. Oh, welcome back. I trust you had some success foraging for tree branches. I did. Very well, allow me to land your load. There you go, sir. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Hello! And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next next task next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant. Here. They look like cherries. They smell like cherries, and they even taste like cherries. In fact, they are a hundred percent, without a doubt, genuine cherries. <laughs> so, will you collect six of them for me? Now, I'm sure that you don't need much guidance here, but just in case, if you see a tree growing cherries, you can press A to shake it and just pick the fruit up. I'm sure you'll have plenty of cherries for us all in no time. Oh, let's go get cherryos! Awesome! Okay, let's say pick cherries. I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so I'm back and I got the cherries. Let's talk to Tom Nook. Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those cherries off your hands and get start started on the preparations. Let's go! Ooh. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Woohoo! Oh, nice. Woohoo! At last, allow me to properly welcome you to our new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the year, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a new a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. Hmm. Oh. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I or originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this desert island into. I suppose we can't call it a desert island anymore. Hmm. But what should we call it? Oh. <gasps> I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Okay, so. I, um, have an idea that, uh, names take me a long time with, like, pets or that stuff, they just take me a long time. So last time it took me a long time, but now it's not taking me a long time because I already know it. And I really like this name. I don't know if it really has that tropical feel that I want it to, but, you know, it will grow on us. Winning tent is what it is. That's our name. And I know it's our name because if I want it, then the game will make it for me. Alright, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go! Winning ten. Isla Del Biceps. Bellevue, Tommy Town. What splendor variety? Yes, yes, each one a potential gem. I didn't say what name, but I really like Dom. That had a nice ring to it. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order, and you could clap for the one you think is best. Science seems to add the enthusiasm and the naming sensibility. Let's start there. So science suggested winning ten. And everyone's got like, see, that's, that's just what happens. Winning, winning, winning. Oh no, look, that one is. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of them. Wow. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Winnington. Okay, sounds great. It rocks, absolutely. Splendid. Then from now on, this island will be known as Winnington. Well, Cyan, since you've proven yourself by naming Winnington, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Winnington. That's awesome. I don't even know what that is, but that's awesome. Cyan, could you please say a word or two as a new spokesperson for your neighbors? A word or two, that'd be funny. You can count on me. 
Hmm, so we settled on the Empire Island and we selected our res resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late. So let's have a toast. Everyone have a beverage in hand? Each fresh juice made from cherries our new resident representative harvested on this very island. And without further ado, a toast to Winnington and the happiness of its residents. Toast, cheers! Let's talk to Having fun? I'm gonna kick off a new working routine tomorrow, so I'm taking it easy tonight in Dideru. In I always forget. Me. I've never settled an island before. Winning here. This is gonna be rad, yo yo yo. Winnington. Winnington. What a great name. Just rolls off the tongue. Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. Thanks, Tommy. We'll let this campfire burn for the rest of the night. Feel free to rest in your tent if you start to feel tired. Ah, oh, before you do that though, there is something we need to give you. Please talk to Mr. Nook about it. Hello, Mr. Nook. Ah, oh, Cyan. Having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Maybe I'll go to that. Sounds good to me, but first you'll probably want this. It's your very own camping cot. Want to set it up in your tent before you lie down? Oh, and there are, there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Hmm, just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all from me for now. Sweet dreams, Zion. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna head to my bed now. No, I'll, I'll take a picture real quick here, but then I'm gonna head to my bed. I'm gonna, yeah, cause... I could just stare at the campfire for a long time, but no. <laughs> oh wow, didn't realize my tent was so close. My tent is a little small, but I think that's okay. Radio, nice. And lamp, nice. You have to set that off because I'm back going to bed. What's on the radio? The radio is on. Turn off. Oh, um, okay. I'll turn it off then. Let's put down my camping cot. Place item. Okay, no room to put something here. Okay. Now can I put it down? So no room. Okay. Is there like a certain way I'm gonna have to put it down or something? There we go. Okay, let's go to bed. Oh, I think I need to move this because it's in my way, I think. Wait, let's turn this around though. Nah, I don't really know how to do it right now, so I'll just not do it. No, let's get in bed. No, no. Get in bed. Go to sleep. Yeah. Um. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Rest my head for a little while. Rest. Mm -hmm. I'm getting sleepy. Ooh la la, what is this? I'm kidding, I know what this is.
Oh, looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore the new frontier. That's all the way right, daddy -o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living, f living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is squares Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man, friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That's rap. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty cute. You'll we'll dig this high on life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. That's a good tune right there, KK Slider. Oh, let's see. Cyan! Are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Ah, uh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. Okay, so, I think that's a good place to leave it off. Uh, we need to talk with Tom Nook in the next video. Um, I wonder what he's going to say. So, today we basically got on this brand new island. Um, we named it... We're, we got on this brand new island, picked our camping spot, helped our, our uh, other island inhabitants with the camping spot. Oh, didn't realize I did that. And we also got um, wood and cherries, and we named the island Winnington. Tom Nook gave us some drinks, and I became the resident representative, and then I just got a vision or something, or a dream from... Uh, KK Slider. And in the next video, we'll see what Tom Nook has to say. There's a whole lot more to do in this world. So, that'll be it for today. Um, I will see you all later. Have a wonderful day.